Hey everybody, Dave here. How are y'all doing tonight or this afternoon, this morning, whenever you're listening or watching or doing your thing? Syndicated Pipe Club time once again. And as always, I am here with Greg the Badger Piper. How are you doing tonight, Greg? I'm doing well. How are you? I had me a heck of an evening, let me tell you. As I was saying before we actually got on camera, we almost didn't have an episode this week. Not because I didn't want to do it, not because you didn't want to do it. Because my youngest son decided to go spray happy with the Febreze and damn near took out the entire computer. Uh, well, as our friend Mon uh, uh, Modi would say, at least it was the computer and not a car, as uh, one of his sons did. I'm waiting for that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Time is getting close. My oldest is turning eight this year. That's halfway to starting driver's license in Canada. Ugh. Scary. But other than that, no, we I, we got lucky. Just took out my graphics card, bringing me down to a single monitor setup, which is really annoying to try to work with after you've been used to doing now doing all this with a double monitor setup and it makes it so much easier you can do all the all a lot of the post work before you even get to post that way but when you got to record off one screen then well the oh you can't add anything it's all just what we see here except by the time the people see this they will see what i put what i did in the editing so i guess it was kind of moot uh, yeah, no, I, I feel you about the, the second monitor thing. Uh, when I switched to working from home, uh, from working at the office last year, and I had to work with a laptop rather than my sweet um, two monitor uh, deal, it was uh, a little, uh, it wasn't impossible, but I was just like, man, I really miss the convenience of uh, working with two monitors. Yeah, because it, it, it is. It's convenient because typically, just to pull the curtain back a little bit for those of you who might be wondering how this happens, Zoom is running on one screen while OBS Studio is running on the other, doing all the recording and on the, the, the frames that are around us that you see. And the little strip at the bottom with the with, with the Twitters and the and the Facebook and all that stuff, that's all done through OBS. It's all ha recorded. It's all done right there. But I'm going to have to try to add that in now without OBS. And some of it, I just can't do without it because it's internet. It's the internet run. So I'll, I'll get what I can. We'll, we'll put out a product. It won't be. The same as always, but it'll be good enough. What do you do, right? Qu equipment failure happens. Yeah. You know, just uh, just a momentary change. It's not permanent. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I was happy, though. Um, I can still run Sea of Thieves on the onboard graphics, which surprised me greatly. I thought I was done playing until I can get a graphics card which they are in short supply right now. Uh, yeah, with everything electronic, I think, right now. Yep. But what are you smoking tonight, Greg? You're, you're smoking a cob, obviously. Yes, yeah. Uh, felt like smoking a cob tonight. Uh, my uh, country gentleman with a forever stem here. And uh, with it, I am actually smoking uh, uh, GL Pieces uh, Sixpence, which is a Virginia blend. Hmm. Heard of Virginia it. Heard blend. it's pretty good. I'll have to mm -hmm. give it a try sometime. Me, I'm smoking my uh, funny-shaped Trepus pipe. It's a sitter. It's kind of a kind of a Rhodesian, kind of a mix of a lot of things. It's an interesting pipe. Canadian maker and great smoker. And in it, I am smoking some HH Vintage Syrian. Nice. Yeah, I, uh, oh, I've heard of Trepus pipes. I uh, 
couple of years ago, I had my eye on um, uh, picking one up off of eBay, but uh, that was the first time that my wife kind of put my foot uh, put her foot down and said, uh, "You've had it. You have you've got enough pipes right now," and so I had to begrudgingly accept that. Well, this pipe was did not cost me much. I didn't. There was no shipping. It was great. It was a prize in a raffle at uh, the Toronto Pipe Club's annual barbecue, which I'm assuming hasn't happened for the last couple of years because, well, COVID. Um, but uh, it was held and typically is held at Michael Park's workshop. And uh, when my number was called, this pipe was there, so I grabbed it. So I, basically, the the pipe cost me five dollars. It's a good deal on it. Nice, uh, nice looking pipe. I, I do have to say that is a very nice, uh, and it's a bit unusual, but uh, as you said, but uh, I don't know it uh, looks nicer with you. Uh, you know, some pipes they don't always go with everybody, but um, that one definitely seems like it, it fits your style. Well, when I was hunting down a uh, country squire, my country squire pipe from from the country squire, and when. Uh, I set it all up with John David Cole, the owner, now, and I, he, I think he was the owner then when I did this, too, from Country Squire Radio. Um, he, th- he, th- he In the email, he thanked me for the interest in the pipe and for buying one, and I said, oh, yeah, no problem. It's the fact that it says Country Squire on it. I can get that shape in any, any pipe shop that I can find within driving distance, but what I can't get here is a Country Squire pipe. all that matters mm-hmm. gives the pipe a story which is pretty good to have with your pipes I think most oh yeah definitely I, most I everybody that, has a story with the pipes yeah no, I, I think that's what makes them um, interesting I do uh, you know sometimes I wish you could uh that was some of my pipes that I knew a little bit more of their story before they got to me. I agree. Like like this pipe here. I wish I knew a little bit more of its story before it got to me. I just uh, finished this one tonight. I just have to do the uh, disinfecting on it. But I just uh, cleaned it up. Nothing too major. Nothing too heavy. It's a Brigham mm-hmm. pipe. I got it at the same time I got this one. That's a Brigham Sportsman Edition. They are no longer made, and they were made here in Canada. Around the 50s or 60s, I think. Um, but this the story there is uh, the guy, a guy came with a box labeled free. And... Uh, there were a bunch of Brigham pipes, a couple Petersons, um, a few odd stems here and there, with no pipes to go to them. He was just giving it away, and it was because there was no value to the pipes, as far as he was concerned, because mm-hmm. they weren't artisan, they weren't collector. You know, you're not gonna make you're not gonna make money on them. So I picked up uh, that plus. Uh, three or four other pipes that day I'll bring them and they've been sitting on my bench ever since so I got my bench cleared off this week and uh, said hey I grabbed that pipe and went to town on it today I just recently got an orbital sander that has a a car polishing attachment so hmm I have a buffing wheel I've never had one of these before I'm going to do a good job on this pipe this time it doesn't translate well into camera, but it's nice and shiny now. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Brigham's one of those uh, pipes that I uh, I don't own one, but it's on my list of pipes. I'd like to own at least one because they. Uh, I like the fact that they all tend to be a bit longer shaped. In general. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right about that. Let me see here. I 
And of course, I happen to pick up a, a Brigham pipe here and this Joby, which is longer than the Brigham. <laughs> but yeah, I've got myself like a, a nice little collection of Brigham pipes. I've got five or six. That's a pretty good size. Yeah, I think the only sub collection within my pipe collection that's bigger than that are my corn cob pipes because they're just so much easier to get hold of. Right. And of course, with me modding pipes and entering con entering the cob pooler test yearly for four or five years, they accumulated pretty quickly over those four or five years. Right. Yeah, cobs are pretty dominant in my collection as well. Uh, I, I do feel like I think I own more Petersons, but uh, uh, cobs are definitely uh, make up a good share of the amount of pipes that I own. Hmm. I'm just thinking. You want to you you want to bring them pipe? I've got five or four or five or six. We should work out a trade. Sure, I would be down for that. This, of course, will be the only one that's not on the table because it's the patent era. Sure, hundred year old possibly hundred year old pipe so that stays with me <laughs> of course <laughs> I understand yeah that, that this was also in that lot I brought home from Toronto mm. proving that the guy did not know what he had yeah now, I always have this like uh dream of one day just being kind of like handed a like a shoebox full of pipes uh, from somebody and uh, just uh, going through it uh, and, and having it just be like you know given to me to own and kind of going through it and, and kind of you know checking out each one and everything it's always been kind of like a fun like oh that'd be nice if that happened one day kind of thing Yeah, that would be. That would be interesting. Yeah. It's uh, funny. Uh, last week, there was an estate sale in my town. And uh, it was the first one that I, I kind of went to. Because normally I go to, like, in, I go antiquing. Uh, but I'm starting to check uh, my local estate sale uh, website and seeing, like, what's available. Because this house actually had... A uh, table full of pipes, mm. and uh, so I went uh, the last day of it, uh, you know, hoping to you know go through it and see like what's there and everything. But uh, even though that like a lot of there's the house still had like a lot of the stuff left, but uh, all the pipes had already been taken. Mm. So uh, that was a, a little harsh lesson. I, I at well. It's funny though, because I didn't walk away with uh, with nothing. I, uh, they were selling books for uh, uh, four for a dollar, and looking through the collection, uh, one of the four books that I picked up was actually a second copy for me of uh, the Ultimate Pipe Book by Richard Hacker. Nice. Is it yeah, useful? A, what's that? Is it a useful book? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, kind of considered to be like uh, uh, like one of the best like pipe books that you could uh, ever uh, buy. And actually, you know, if we're going to trade, since I have two, uh, I'll I'll send you one of them because cool. it's uh, 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 I was kind of planning on doing that anyway, uh, but this will help kind of make it a bit easier to make that switch. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, like I've been reading through it and it's been uh, uh, really nice. I'll, I'll keep my old copy. This one uh, is kind of like a, I feel like it's a newer edition, so I'll send you that one. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, you should like it. Yeah, that'll be good to have. I mean, my, my, my reference material for pipes is very slim here. But then when you have the internet, right, you have all the information you need right at your fingertips. Yeah, it does make it easy, uh, but I, I don't know. There's just something about having a book that I, I just really No, I agree. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm gonna to have to pay for that when uh, we finally move, considering of all the things I've picked up from Half Price Books. <laughs> but uh, I don't know it's hard. I, I'm sure I'll probably call some of them uh, and sell them back to Half Price whenever the move time comes. But uh, I don't know. They just having them as like reference material is just uh, good enough for me. Yeah, that pipe there that I showed earlier, the Brigham there, it uh, it was it was an interesting clean today. I mean, it wasn't as you I did it all today, so it wasn't super bad. Got me, except for the bowl. The bowl was horrid. I was starting to wonder if I was going to have to stop and uh, do a couple of alcohol treatments just to loosen up the cake. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ream on it was while while the uh, edge of the bowl is all right inside the ream was weird like it built up at the bottom at a weird angle and it took me a while but i had a, took took me all afternoon i think till supper time and uh i finally got that sucker acceptable but there's still some carbon in there yeah yeah no i have a a kamoi bulldog uh, that i like it, it's a even though it has like two or three scratches on the bowl, it's just uh, a nice little pipe that I like. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's the bowl for the for the pipe, like near the bottom. It kind of uh, is, it kind of does like a V, and uh, I really don't feel like it's natural. I feel like, uh, uh, but I, I just can't seem to get my re reamer down any further in it. Yep, yeah, that's typically my issue with uh, with pipes too. I get get the reamer down as far as I can, and then it doesn't go any further, and you have a you have an, you have a weird pocket at the bottom after that mm -hmm. on the pipes that have you know had their cake build up too far, and then they've set forever. That's that's what happened here on that one, but mm -hmm. you can't see it. But I uh, was able to get that fixed. Uh, I have a little mini Dremel that I was able to get down in there and reshape the bowl in the carbon in the bowl to you know a, a more uh, natural pipe shape like it would be would have been like right from the factory. Yeah. So yeah, I just gotta just gotta disinfect it. Now that I'm done playing around with the insides, yeah, I was worried about it ghosting too because it had a horribly pungent smell when I when I started. But I think I got most of that out. Yeah, the last uh, state pipe I bought off of eBay uh, last year had a nasty little ghost that I had to to deal with. And that wasn't fun. If you haven't figured it out by now, listener or watcher, we're talking about nothing but pipes today. Yes. 
fine by me because I didn't have <laughs> I really did not have time to fit the avatar in today. I probably could have, but I got concentrating on this and lost track of time. Then the next time I started at about all oh, about two. And then the next thing I know, my wife's coming downstairs and say, okay, I'm going to go pick up supper. It's that time already? Okay, go on, come on, come on, let me wash my hands, I'll be right up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wish I had a few more estates that I could clean up, because I've only got, and I've only got uh, like five or six left. And once that's done, it's just a matter of maintain and maintenance on all the pipes. Yeah. But now that I got a good buffing wheel, um, I think uh, my pipes are all due for a good overhaul. Yeah. No, I, my pipes are way overdue for cleaning, and I should. Uh, I really should get to, to working on them. Uh, I don't want to say how long it's been because it's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want the the pipe police to come after me. Uh, as long as you're maintaining your cake, everything's fine. But yeah, my even even me, I got a, I got a few here like this. Bring them here where uh, it's starting to get some oxidation on the tip of the stem again, and I just didn't really want to deal with it. But now that I got the buffing wheel and the little Dremel thing for with a with a buffing tip on it, that works pretty good. I should be able to knock these these pipes that have already been clean deep cleaned uh, out in an afternoon or so. Mm. Give them a nice shine. And I'll I'll be looking good. Yeah. What um, what uh, what type of uh, estates do you think you'll be looking for when you uh, look to to add to your collection for that? Well, I have my eye on one, uh, a Savinelli. I've gotten on eBay. I've got an eye on. Odds are, by the time I check, because it was when I found it last week on Friday. It just started. The auction just started. It's a nine day auction, so. Odds are, by the time uh, it comes to where I would actually place a bid on it, it'll probably be out of my price range already. Yeah. Because Savinelli autograph, so... Those will go. Yeah. Because I looked at them, and even the cheap, the cheapest autograph is almost, oh, I think, over $200, so... Oh, wow. So yeah, like my limit was like seven is like seventy five bucks on that, you know. That includes that that that's uh, exchange shipping all the stuff. So that means the bid's pretty low for me. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever uh, have you looked at Rossi? Yeah, I've looked at some of their pipes. They're okay, but nothing that I I'd really pick up. Yeah. No, I um. I didn't really consider Rossi at all until uh, uh, on my birthday uh, a Rossi was accidentally sent to me from uh, my secret Santa uh, who had forgotten to change his uh, address out <laughs> uh, and so I had to, <laughs> I was all excited until uh, I, I re you know got the message from this pipe life that uh, it's a uh, that revealed what had happened. And I was just like, oh, I'm glad that I, I didn't try to break it in yet or anything. But uh, like I looked at it, and I was like really kind of blown away at how uh, like what a nice pipe it was. It was. Uh, and so like I had to I actually wrote down like the, the shape number and like the, the style of it. It was like uh, Rossi uh, Naughty, uh, N-O-T-T-E. And uh, yeah, I was just really impressed with uh, how the, how the pipe looked. It was just a nice, uh, 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 just 
not chunky, but just like a stout looking uh, a billiard that uh, really just, uh, I, I really like the look of it and, and everything. So I, uh, that is actually the next pipe on my list of uh, that I'll be picking up hopefully. Is it just, you know, it was taken away from me, so it has to come back <laughs> some, one way or the other. Oh no! That, I, I was just thinking. Wait, maybe I do have a Rossi, but then I was like, nope, nope. That's a, that's a Rop. Mm. Then I've got uh, the military mount bulldog that my yeah. oldest picked out for me a few years ago. Yeah, usually with Rop, I see their uh, their cherry woods, which uh, don't appeal to me. Yet. I almost want to get one of those just to say, just so I can say I have one. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. But beyond that, I would probably never use it. Yeah. Uh, at teak places, uh, I've seen them, and I've seen, there's, I believe I've seen it more than once, where it's this pipe where it's like, uh, um, it looks like it's hand-carved by somebody, and it's like the, the bowl's in the shape of like a bull's head. Uh, and I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. Yep. And I'm out, uh, whenever I, I do my eBay searches for fun, just to see what's out there, uh, I think the, the next two companies that I'm going to be looking at, uh, at least uh, picking up a pipe one day, uh, there's uh, Parker and uh, Hardcastle. Mm -hmm. And they're both uh, affiliated with uh, Dunhill's. Yeah, I got a few searches that I saved that I that I when I go when I when I get, get the notion I log on to eBay and take a gander at what's what's there and usually searching at Savinelli and uh, Joby and Stanwell and uh, specifically the Bing's favorite I have a search just for that. Mm -hmm. Those don't come up used very often. Um. Then I have a a, a a search for estate lots, and but uh, I've noticed over the last couple of years that eBay is starting to get cost prohibitive for somebody like me in Canada. Even if you're dealing in Canada, if you if you're on a small budget, they uh, well, for example. Uh, a lot of pipes I would have bid on was starting at a hundred bucks American. And I was going, I don't have that kind of money. And I haven't found a pipe for ten dollars on you know starting a bid at ten dollars on eBay for a couple of years now. I think the last pipe that I got off eBay cheap was was this one that you had to buy for me and send to me mm -hmm. because uh, the seller wasn't wouldn't ship to America or to Canada from America. Yeah, and that's that's unfortunate. I would say there has to be some sort of a system. Uh, kind of like what we have down here of a uh, website that allows you to see kind of like estate sales uh, like in your area. That might be something that might be worth for you to kind of investigate. Oh, and, no, uh, I don't have to. I've already done so. I found a, a couple of uh, uh, estate sale auction houses uh, that do their bidding online and such that I'm I'm a member of, but pipes don't come up much. Um, yeah. A couple of the the pipes in one of my pipe racks that's sitting on my desk here is from that. Well, not even from from auctions, but just like uh, the ones that actually just like at home, where you just go at the person's home that you go to. It might be worth uh, kind of investigating. Oh, I know right where there are some that I will inherit eventually. 
to my great grandpa's. Yeah. I half-assed cleaned those up when I first started smoking pipes because I was using them. Mm. But now that I know a little better what I'm doing, I'm itching to get them back so that I can do them properly. Yeah. Get them looking good. That's cool, yeah. That's that's just the... I wish I would have been able to do something like that where uh, there was a relative that uh, uh, had pipes to inherit, even if they you know, were just something like grab brows or something like that. Uh, just that uh, family connection would have been nice. Oh, yeah, they're nothing special. Like, they're just... There's uh, they're a couple medicos, uh, a... Uh, a Billable... No, no, uh, a, a, a few of them, I don't know uh, what they were. I think one was a K. Woody, possibly. Um, and there was uh, an unnamed Bent Billiard. But beyond that, like, they were, they were nothing special. Yeah. Just the fact they were my great-grandpa's pipes. Yeah. I would say, um, like with, with K. Woody, I mean, there's a, a growing market for that. Mm, I know. I got one kicking around here that I just I did up not too long ago. I just don't, I don't see it right now, but things are a little bit in shambles. Mm. Oh, nope, here it is. Yeah, this one. Mm. Pretty nice looking one. Or is this a yellow bowl? No, no, this is a yellow bowl. crack in the in the shank that's, yeah that's why the custom band at the my mom and I went to an antique store last week in uh, Milwaukee and they actually had a pretty decent like uh, amount of pipes at the store um, there was one where it was like a, a lot sale where it was like uh Ten pipes and a pipe rack for fifty bucks, and uh, you know it wasn't like like I it, I didn't feel like it, it called to me, you know, like because a lot of the pipes there was you know like grab brows or uh, um, you know medico medicos and all that stuff, uh, but uh, you know it, like it wasn't uh, like the pipes were in pretty good shape, like, they weren't like uh, all cracked and, and beat up. Or, I mean, there might be one or two that have that. I didn't look at each one you know, super close, but uh, you know, I actually thought that was like a pretty fair price for, uh, mm -hmm. for all of that. But uh, you know, it was just something that I didn't need. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I go looking for when I'm in places like in junk, what I call junk stores. There's not really, they're not really junk, just. That's what I'm looking for a, a lot like that. You know, ten pipes in a rack and Yeah. Or just a cheap lot. I don't even care if uh if they're good name pipes, just something I can clean up. Yeah. Well uh I mean yeah, that one, uh, I don't know, you might like that one then. Uh, there's a lot of interesting shapes among them, so. <clears throat> oh. 
My knee's bugging me today. It's damp. We're getting the we're getting the rain that's causing your humidity. Gotcha. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty pretty nasty out with that. I mean, it's not bad right now, but uh, uh, <laughs> I walked my dog and, and my son while wearing my son yesterday, and I decided to take the long way around uh, the area that I live at, and uh, it was a big mistake. Even though it was like upper 60s, just the humidity just like really just took it out of me. And then I have my dog who's stopping every uh, couple of feet to sniff around that uh, about three quarters of the way through, I uh, texted my wife. I was like, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> But we were so close to home that I just uh, pushed onward and, and got through it. But yeah, I think. Uh I can't really tell how long we've been going, but I think uh, we got a good episode here. Just pipe talk. Yeah, you know, nothing too specific, just kind of uh, whatever comes to mind. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, uh, we will end it here, and if you're looking to keep up with us throughout the week, you can always find me on Twitter at DrAlien201. The show's at Syndicated Pipe, and Greg's on there, too. Where can they find you on Twitter, Greg? Uh, you can find me at the underscore Badger Piper, and uh, you can find me on Instagram as well as uh, the Badger Piper. You can also find the show uh, on Instagram now under Doctor Alien Two Hundred One. Um, syndicated pipe was just too long. Otherwise, I'd have done that. But uh, on the weekly now, uh, the little show ads come out on there and on the show's Twitter uh, Twitter account. And you can also go on for us on Facebook at Dr. Alien 201 Productions. This is a Facebook page, which will put out everything that I do regarding uh, pipes and tobacco and anything that I produce. So that goes there, including this show. I uh, forgot to do that. I will have to do that tonight. <laughs> And, of course, you can always just email us at reverseflashtime at gmail.com. I've been getting emails at that address lately, and none of them are from people listening to the show. Just going, thanks for the junk mail, Google. Now he's just answer them for fun and just make fun of them. I'd like to get one of those scams to that email address and then just, you know, answer it. A Nigerian prince? Yes, the Nigerian prince who will uh, be uh, sponsoring our show soon. Yep. But anyway, everybody, this is the point where we're going to wish you great smokes, good entertainment, and we will see you next week. Chat with you later.